Alright, today we are going to continue from where we stopped. In the previous tutorial, that's tutorial 3, this is where we stopped. Now, we've created a, an application in Spring Boot. You understand now how to create a new application in Spring Boot and run this application. Now I'm going to show you how to create this application, exactly the same application, in a different way. And we are going to use a tool called Spring Initializer. I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed and also like the video and share it if it's been informative for you. So we are going to use Spring Initializer. So let's go to Google. Let's go to the website. This the website is starts.spring.io. Uh, start.spring.io. So so this is the name Spring Initializer. So it says bootstrap your application now. Let's go back to the application we built. We built this application using SCS, that is the Spring IDE tool, right? If we go to the palm.xml, you can see the details of this application specified. Remember that how we created this application was from new and we go to start a project and we uh, went to set all of these and when we went to next we have to select our dependencies from here so let's go back to spring initializer and let me show you as well so here we have say it says generate a maven project now you have gradle with java and spring boot 2.3 so take a look at this place now we have type maven java version and we have the, the okay we have all this version here so basically it's about the same thing that you are doing but more like they are giving you opportunity to create this application automatically online and download the application folder easily so let's just go ahead to do it um so here we have artifacts so let's allow it as demo. Come the, uh, let me just kind of the genius. Okay. Now, this is for dependencies. We don't want to select any dependencies at this time. So let's just uh, let's just generate this project and let's see. We can see now it's generated the project and it's downloaded this project. Okay. So let me view it in folder. In folder, I can see it as demo .zip. All right. So let's go to Spring and open this project so that you see that it's about the same thing. The first thing I'm going to do is to close this one. So let me just go ahead to close this project. Fine. So I'm going to say open project from files this time. And I'm going to I'm going to look for this project wherever it is. It should be in you know, downloads and it's called demo. Mm. Let's see, it's, it's in download and it's called demo. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it doesn't show up. So let's go back to our downloads folder. What we are going to do is just to uninstall it, or to extract all, extract. So the name is also demo, fine. So it's showing up now, as you can see. So I'm going to click and I'm going to select this folder. And let's see. Now, I've selected the folder and I'm just going to finish. What is happening here? You can see that this application has been created just like before. If I drop down, you can see demo. You can see that everything is about the same thing. If you open the palm.xml, you can see that it has about the same thing like before, except that here we have artifact ID to be demo. So that is how to use Spring Initializer to generate your application. You can also do the same with uh, the, the IDE STS, but it's good for you to know the options you have. So again, let's go to the main, the uh, SRC main Java and open the demo application. So you can have exactly the same thing. And now let's just print out something on the screen, sys out control space and then let's say welcome to spring 
initializer. All right. So I'm going to simply right click on this and just run it as a Spring Boot application. And I go down, you can see that, okay, everything worked. So, okay. Going to welcome to Spring. Okay, it should display something on the output. So run a Spring application. Hmm. Okay, so this is quite strange. Okay, basically you can see started demo application, but then the problem is that it's not displaying anything on the output. Okay, so let's try to use print. And I'm going to save and I'm going to right click again and I'm going to run as a Spring application. Okay, so basically, this uh, this Spring framework tends to have issues with print lines, so now you can see Welcome to Spring Initializer. So just have this at the back of your mind that you can use Spring Initializer. Uh, you can also use the Spring Tool Suite IDE. So in case you ask uh, what the Spring Initializer, you can easily mention what it is and we've used it to create our application. I'm going to stop here and I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel and also like the video if this has been informative for you.